The Alabama School of Mathematics and Science provides helpful skills and education that fully prepares them for college. They are currently recruiting students for the next school year and here to tell us more about it from Potential Magazine. We have publisher Pam Mashburn here with us. Hello, Hello again. And also from the Alabama School of Mathematics and Science, President Dr. Monica Motley. Thank you both for being here with us. Uh, this is our parent to parent segment because you always have such great advice uh, for parents and right. it's all in her uh, magazine, Potential Magazine, that has these cutie pies on the front mm -hmm. right here showing their school spirit. So if you're looking for it and it's still out there, this is what it looks like. Or you can get it online at PotentialMagazine.com. That's right. Uh, so do that. But inside, they're talking about this wonderful school. How did you find out about this? Yeah, so we were doing some research and we, um, you know, we mailed this magazine to all the schools and we found out about this school and talked to Dr. Motley. And I love it because, you know, we're always looking for ways for kids to reach their potential and also to be able to pay for college. Yes. And it looks like these, the kids that go here, they're not always the valedictorian, but they're kids that are hard workers, they're good students, and they're interested in math and science. But we're seeing that um, the national ACT average, or it for, well, for Alabama, Alabama ACT is 19. Mm -hmm. The students there are getting 29s. And a lot of them are they increasing get the. What? I know. Yeah. And they're oh, increasing their scores let's, like let's five points. Let's talk to you, <laughs> Dr. Motley. Let's talk to you more about <laughs> that. Um, this does take a special student because they live yes. on campus already in yes. high school, right? We are the state's only fully public, fully residential school in the state. And so all of our students live on campus. And that's a part of that college preparation that they have. So so we take academically talented students from throughout the state of Alabama and give them access to a world-class education. Now just because mom and dad think my kid is ready to go, that might not be the case. You guys do right. a very uh, lengthy process to make sure we that do. they're a good fit for the school. We do. Um, we have our admissions process. We have an admissions committee. And so the students fill out an application. And then once our admissions committee uh, reviews the applications, and they actually come on campus for an interview. And so we interview the students. We're trying to see their maturity. And are they ready to be independent and live away from home while taking advantage of this excellent education. Yeah, because you want, mm -hmm. once they get there, for them to thrive and, and yes. flourish, you don't want this to be an issue for them. If it's better for them to stay closer Correct. at home, you want that too. Uh, yes. A lot of people would think a school like this isn't an option for them because of the price involved. Right, and that's the most, that's the most amazing part. Yes. Room and board and tuition are free. And so we were established by the Alabama legislature in 1989, so it is free for Alabama students. Okay, so they don't, they don't have to have grades off the chart for them to uh, be there? Well, we do. <laughs> we do want them to be academically talented, so to excel at their school that they're at now because our curriculum is rigorous. So it is more advanced um, than traditional schools. It's taught at the college level. Most of our, our instructors have actually terminal degrees, so mm -hmm. they're really passionate about what they're teaching. And so students have to be ready to work hard. You don't have to be a genius, but you have to be ready to work hard. Yes. Well, you know what else they have is they have these internship programs. Can you yes. tell a little bit about that? I was so impressed with that. Right. Um, we have lots of academic programs that are extracurricular activities. So we have opportunities for our students to do research at a university, um, at the Cancer Institute. Um, we also have an internship program where they're actually able to learn and apply what they're learning in the classroom and see how it's relevant in the real world. And that'll make students. their resume look so good uh, yes. when they get ready to... Uh, apply for. So it's not just going colleges. to college, but it's being able to be looked at and going to some of the more competitive, even Ivy League schools. So yes. if you have a student that's that's got some high aspirations, these guys can really open the door. Yes, yes. And, and it's not for what, everybody, what but grades do you have? we have 10th, 11th, and 12th grades. Okay. And so they can actually apply and be admitted in the 9th or 10th grade. Right. Well, and one of the things I wanted to quickly mention is she's got some informational sessions tonight, yes. and they have great summer camps. So if you aren't sure and you have like a middle schooler, try out these summer camps because yes. you can kind of try on the campus and see if it is a good fit. Do you want to say something about that? Yes, the we have meetings? our Adventures in, in Math and Science Summer Camp, yes. so you can apply for that, but I will be hosting an informational meetings tonight in Selma and then tomorrow in Montgomery at the Montgomery Library on High Street. All right, tonight yes. in Selma at the Wallace Community College and yes. tomorrow at 6 at the Montgomery Library. Thank you yes. so much for being here. Thank you for having us. And remember PotentialMagazine.com for more information. Thank you so much.